All right, everyone, welcome back to the round of 64 here tournament uh, in the first Ratgoska Open tournament. I've got uh, rank one or seated one Zeese versus his opponent, uh, seated 16th Electrobes, uh, the pink Terran here in the northern position here on Metalopolis, and let's get this game underway. Uh, I haven't been in. I haven't really had a lot of time to cast. So I did definitely fall behind as most of these plays games were played last week on the previous version of StarCraft, and it would be interesting to see how some of these games would be different on the newer patch and the newer version. So definitely keep uh, keep an eye out for that. But other than that, let's just uh, get these guys' builds going here right away. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. We've had had a few upsets in the tournament, so we'll see if Electrobes here can pull off a win. Or if Zeese will remain dominant or victorious once again, uh, as he is one of our seated, our first seed players. And I did uh, cast part of this game before, but uh, partway through my recording bugged out, so I'm gonna have to redo it. And you guys are getting the much better version, although it's been a while, so I don't exactly remember ex what happened in this game. Uh, looks like we have Zeese getting ready to throw down his gateway. Thing. Maybe. There it goes. Alright, gateways for everybody. Woo! And we do have the barracks for Electrobes on its way out already as well. And sending out that first initial worker. Uh, typically, you want to scout close positions, especially on Metalopolis and Shatter Temple, just because uh, if you are close positions, there's some chances of rush. But as you can see, Zeus didn't uh, hit his base with that scouting probe in the first like minute, so he knows that uh, there's no kind of early pressure and so that he can assume that they are close by air and getting that pylon outside the smoke could be interesting to see if it was inside the smoke so that we could see if any kind of drops come in um, as they could land right here and then push out um, but it looks like he is just kind of moving that SUV around getting a good uh, scouting information on his opponent and we see that side core going up right now uh, could possibly be seeing a four gate from Zess or a Protoss player so we will have to see because Four gating's fun. Uh, it's one of the strats that I actually know how to do as a Protoss player. And when we see this fancy dancy green rally set up here, and let's see if that probe does manage to catch up to that SCV or not. Uh, meanwhile, here we do have ooh, a second barracks going up here for Electrobes, so it looks like we're going to be seeing some kind of two racks play. Could potentially transition into some factory play as well. And it looks like, ooh, that SCV is needing to get out of there as it is starting to get very low on health and decides to retreat with that. Could even use this probe to kind of get in there and do some more damage to it, try to take it out, but it doesn't look like it and it looks like that SCV will get away unscathed. Alright, getting this game underway, getting it set up, getting everybody's build. It'd be interesting to see what uh, how Zayce transitions off of this is if he decides to go 3-gate robo, 3-gate expand or uh, just four gate all in but it doesn't look like it as he is uh, not putting down the gates and he's getting that first sentry out so definitely could be seeing a one gate expand does have the pylon here on the low ground kind of help create a choke as well as being able to warp in units all around and sending out that initial stalker just to poke around looks like he is going to find that this SCV is at the watchtower and is going to pick that off there he goes gets that SCV taken Oh, okay. I was like, how did he have vision of that? But then I was like, okay, he's got this watchtower here so we can see that one. That's interesting. It almost threw my mind there for a second. It's very lost and confused. And it looks like we do have this probe now moving out to throw down a forward pylon. Looks like he's going to sneak around into the third base and throw it up on that high ground. Uh, meanwhile, we do have a third factory on the way as well as Stimpak here being researched by Electrobes. Uh, and he's got a little bit of Chrono Boost and our... Uh, Orbital Command Energy, just so that way he can do some DT scanning, but then uh, he dropped a mule and proved me wrong. Ooh, and a hidden Stargate here in the smoke. That's probably why he wanted to put those pylons on the side. And we do have that proxy pylon going out here, so we'll see if he does a, a Void Ray play, which I've seen a lot of Protoss players do. Uh, they get the Void Ray. They use the Void Ray along with the uh, the Stalker, just to kind of pick off some of these front frontal buildings and just rallying those units up to that and yep it looks like we do have that nexus going up right now so it looks like uh... Zeus is getting ready to expand off of this pressure 
And, ooh, they spotted the probe running away. And, ooh, looks like he decides to pull back with that. Could have easily picked off that sentry. Uh, is he going to be able to sneak that sentry up the ramp? Yes. Yes, he does. Warping in a few more sentries as well as getting another stalker up here. And is the void ray yet? Yet? No, nope, not quite yet. It is on its way. Uh, we do have quite a few marines in this army, so it looks like he's going to want to do as much damage to those as possible. And that sneaky probe is moving out yet again. Uh, could even throw down a pylon right here, use the void ray for sight, and warp in up on the high ground, which would be such a devastating little tactic. As my cat tries to rip my headset right from my head. Go figure. Alright, looks like we do possibly have a clashing of the armies here. He is going to push up onto this high ground and takes out one sentry. And looks like a few of those marines do get taken out and decides to pull back with his army um, before taking too many more, too much more damage. Uh, we still have just the three Raxes producing out units. Uh, keeping his money relatively low, but it doesn't look like he's continually producing SCVs, so that could be a, a factor in his uh, low money. Uh, meanwhile, we do have the expansion up for Zeus, and we do have a phoenix on its way over along with that void ray so this is starting to look like a pretty scary army here for our protoss player and he's going to be able to do quite a bit of damage with this and as we can see what did get up in oh the phoenix got in the base to do some scouting definitely gets a good feel for what's going on in the terran base as he's throwing down that fourth barracks and it looks like he does want to keep that phoenix from doing any scouting and is going to chase that with his army uh, but it could definitely be walking into a trap as the protest army is right here and could the armies engage oh looks like they're going to commit to this not a good idea attacking up that ramp to the protest army gets a few force fields out causing that those troops to not be able to retreat a lot of damage being dealt here from the the protest forces lifting up that one marauder as best as he can warping in some more reinforcements and it looks like the Terran player is definitely going to be taken out by this as those marines are getting focused down here cats running into my hand moving my mouse allowing me not to focus on the battle and it looks like he is target firing down the void ray but doesn't manage to get it taken out loses his last remaining troops and has to f is forced to rebuild up here on the high ground this void ray does have range over the bio unit so is able to focus down this supply depot and charge up fully uh, this is definitely not going to be good for our Terran player as this void ray is not going to do massive amounts of damage to these units but the, good, the void ray does only have a little bit of health left is he going to get the void ray taken out no doesn't manage to get that void ray taken out phoenix is coming in to pick up as many units as they can but getting chased out meanwhile we do have zealots here in the main base taking out doing as much damage as possible void ray now getting even more charged on that barracks and electrobes ggs taps out of this game uh, if you like my cast and you uh, want to subscribe to my channel, please do so down below. And as always, have a good night.